<laughs> Too late. You might as well give up now. Oh, I must say, I do like the videos. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if you're doing videos, there's nothing more annoying than <laughs> positive answers anyway, so there having been no objections made to this wedding, we can proceed. Before you are joined in matrimony, however, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are making here today. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. But much more than this, Marriage is meant to provide the love and friendship, help and comfort which each should have for the other, both in times of joy and in times of hardship. I will now ask you both in turn to declare that there is no legal reason to prevent your marriage here today. And as always, I start with the groom. Murray, could you please repeat after me? <coughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Murray Fenton Bowen. That I, Murray Fenton Bowen, may not be joined. May not be joined in matrimony. In matrimony to Beverly Jean Loxton. To Beverly Jean Loxton. Beverly, I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not, that I know not of, any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment, why I, Beverly Jean Loxton, may not be joined in matrimony to Murray Fenton Bowen. 
Beverly and Murray are now going to exchange their wedding rings, which are there on the table. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It symbolises perfect unity with no beginning and no end. It represents everlasting love and is an outward sign and lasting reminder of the promises you are making to each other here today. So Murray, if you pick up the ring you're going to present to Beverly. That's the right one, is it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you hold it on the tip of Beverly's ring finger and hold it there while you say these words to her and while the flash goes off there, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and commitment. As a sign of my love and commitment. And as a pledge of our marriage. And as a pledge of my marriage. Oh, our marriage, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's both of mine. Both of mine. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And I promise to love. And I promise to love. Respect and res cherish you always. Respect and cherish you always. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Beverly, if you could do the same and uh, say the same words to Murray. It's a bit more awkward this way round, yes. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and commitment. As a sign of my love and commitment. And as a pledge. And as a pledge of our marriage. Of our marriage. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And I promise to love. And I promise to love. Respect. <laughs> respect. And cherish you always. And cherish you always. the warmth in here, so it fits well. <coughs> We've now reached the stage in the proceedings where Murray and Beverly will contract their marriage before you, their witnesses, guests, and the registrar of marriages. If you're able to stand and support them at this time, it'd be good of you. Um, these are the words that make you husband and wife. And again, Murray, I start with you. Please repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I Murray to witness that I Murray do take thee Beverly do take thee Beverly to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife I promise to give you my love and friendship I promise to give you my love and friendship to support and comfort you to support and comfort you to care for you with love and patience to care for you with love and patience to respect and cherish you to respect and cherish you and to be faithful always and to be faithful always these promises i make to you these promises i make to you for the rest of my life for the rest of my life beverly the last words are yours <coughs> no i call upon Sorry. These persons here present, persons here present, to witness that I, Beverly, to witness that I, Beverly, do take thee, Murray, do take thee, Murray, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to give you my love and friendship, I promise to give you my love and friendship, to support and comfort you, to support and comfort you, to care for you with love and patience, to care for you with love and lots of patience, <laughs> <laughs> to respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And to be faithful always. Be faithful. These promises I make to you. These promises I make to you. For the rest of my life. Mm. Well, Beverly and Murray, having made the declarations required by law in the presence of your witnesses, guests, and the registrar of marriages, you have made a legally binding contract of marriage. And we are delighted to pronounce that <coughs> you are now husband and wife. Congratulations. Okay, You'd all like to take your seats, ladies and gentlemen.
And then you need to come over here. Oh, okay, <laughs> so we need to go over there now. Oh, wow. Thank you very, very much, everyone. Who's it from? Uh, but all your family. That's Thank you very much, family. Thank you. Yes. Our family. Oh, she's such yeah. a nice. Your side of our family. Very nice. Very nice. Careful of it, yeah, right. <laughs> When you pack enough, I'm sure we can get them in. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a child. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. A lovely love story by Eddie Martin. The fierce dinosaur was trapped inside his cage of ice. Though it was cold, he was happy in there. It was, after all, his cage. Then along came the lovely other dinosaur. The lovely other dinosaur melted the dinosaur's cage with kind words and loving thoughts. I like this dinosaur, thought the lovely other dinosaur. Although he is fierce, he is also tender and he is funny. He is also quite clever, though I will not tell him this for now. I like this lovely other dinosaur, thought the dinosaur. She is beautiful and she is different and she smells so nice. She is also a free spirit, which is a quality I much admire in the dinosaur. But 
he can be so distant and so peculiar at times, like the lovely other dinosaur. He is also overly fond of things. Are all dinosaurs so overly fond of things? And her mind skips from here to there so quickly, thought the dinosaur. She is also uncommonly keen on scatter cushions. Are all lovely other dinosaurs so uncommonly keen on scatter cushions? I will forgive him his peculiarity and his concern for things, the lovely other dinosaur, for they are part of what makes him a richly charactered individual. I will forgive her skipping mind and her fondness for scatter cushions, for the dinosaur, for she fills our life with beautiful thoughts and wonderful surprises. Besides, I'm not unkeen with scatter cushions either. Now the dinosaur and the lovely other dinosaur are older. Okay. Together they stand on the hill, telling each other stories and feeling the warmth of the sun on their backs. And that, my friends, is how it is with love. Let us all be dinosaurs and lovely other dinosaurs together. For the sun is warm and the world is a beautiful place. Yeah.